Hi guys, it's Sight here. Uh, here today I'm going to do the finding inspiration tag that was done by Edward Insane. Really like this one, uh, really had some good questions and uh, some fun things to talk about. I um, really enjoy character making and world making. Uh, it's something that I've always been interested in since I was a kid. Uh, and. Um, enjoy doing that today. Uh, writing stories, even if they are just in, in my head. Uh, but uh, the first question is, when making a character or story, how do you begin the process? Um, well, uh, a lot of times it helps if there is some sort of uh, starting point where our world where you're trying to put the character into. Uh, and in my case, for my dolls, they are, for the most part, all, well, they all are from the same world essentially um, and that's a good kind of jump off spot uh, for me but uh, in the past I've done similar things with characters it depends on the world that you're trying to incorporate them into uh, where where you start but uh, um, I as far as where a lot of my inspirations come from and I think that's kind of where this next this next question is where do you find most inspirations other collectors, media, music, history, real life, um, and and for me, um, that question is very complicated. Uh, I well, I'm almost forty for one, and uh, so I've I, I've read a lot. Um, I, I I've had a lot of experiences myself, um, and been exposed to a lot of media basically uh, but but I, I I've been an avid reader since I was very young uh, and I have consumed lots and lots of books on lots of different subjects uh, novels and 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 nonfiction too um, but uh, I, I definitely have a much more of an interest in fantasy slants or even science fiction um, mo mostly fantasy now uh, as I've gotten older I used to be more interested in, in science fiction uh, but I, I more the fantasy type of, of realms but a lot of a lot of history um, I did have minors in art history and um, paleontology uh, some anthropology and archaeology kind of uh, slants in there too always had a big interest in that and all of those things influence characters uh, worlds that I make uh, I, I like I do like to explore how uh, how things might be done in the absence of, of technology um, and 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 how 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 they would do that um, I do like magic I don't like magic just being the to magically get out of all sorts of situations, uh, I like there to be to be rules. Um, but uh, uh, lots of lots and lots of books. I, I should have like a list. Of, <laughs> but I mean, I, I I have been reading fantasy and science fiction novels for a very very long time and consumed a lot of those. So that's it's it's hard it's hard to find out where one end begins and one one ends. Um, also, a strong interest in uh, in history and mythology, religion, a lot of those uh, interests will come into a character. Sometimes I might want to explore uh, a certain uh, subject a little more, like with, with Kian, uh, my interest in, in Buddhism and uh, East Asian religions, uh, that she, she is my vehicle for exploring that, my opportunity to learn those things. Um, so, I also I enjoy research, so uh, uh, I will I will do a lot of reading. That will help me to give get a better idea of what I want the character uh, to to be about. Um, I I do try to be sensitive when I'm when I'm incorporating cultures that are that are not my own. Uh, and and in ex when I explore any sort of um, storylines uh, um, or or things that happen, I, I try to be, I try to be sensitive and realistic about those. I mean, I'm dealing with fantasy settings and, and fantasy characters, but it and just, just as in with art and drawing, if you don't have a, a basis in some sort of 
research or or something solid it's going to show so you 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 can tell when people have done their homework and and they haven't um and i try to do my homework uh so that's kind of where a, a lot of those those sorts of things come in i i i probably don't i probably haven't been as up on as things that are more more recent like the last 10 years of popular media um movies <laughs> i'm pretty behind uh but uh um so some of the big influences uh early on would be for for me some of the like the movies that really stand out in my mind as just being very formative of 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 that interest in fantasy uh the dark crystal jim henson's the dark crystal um uh legend uh which uh, which had unicorns and and scary demon guy and it, it was it was really cool all the doggy interruptions there's this massive snoring going on but another movie i meant to mention was um was labyrinth from the jim henson movie uh that was a, a very kind of that magical uh kind of fantasy movie with very interesting characters and and um Puppets, you know, they, 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 none of the CG stuff. It was all I made these things. It was puppets, <laughs> really. So those, those sorts of things. Um, the, the, the Star Wars films were actually uh, those, those. I, I love those. The first, the first three. I, the, the I don't consider the ones that they made after that. I, I'm probably <laughs> one of these old people. Only those first three movies actually count. Um, but uh, all right, let's. I could blather. I could blather on. Um, but let's move on. <laughs> um, do you make characters for a sculpt you like, or do you have characters and find a sculpt to match them? A little bit of both. Uh, I've bought dolls that I didn't know who they were going to be uh, at the time, and then characters got made around them. Uh, and then I've had it go the other way where I had a character, I knew a character that I that I wanted and was active in looking for sculpts and dolls to match them. Um, so Danu was one of those. Uh, I bought her and I knew that she was going to be Danu. Um, I, uh, Nila, um, when I saw the, the Mishi's doll, Dreamy, I, that was a Nila. I mean, I just, that, that was going to be her. I, that was a, a dear, dear, uh, character and there she was. Um, I have my my twiggling coming in uh, and I'm hoping that she is going to be my hurla. She's that's the plan um, uh, but there's always there's still that fear that maybe when she gets here it won't be right uh, but I but uh, that's the plan anyways. I'm, I'm hoping she'll be my hurla. <laughs> um, so I've, I've gone I've gone both both ways that way. Um, I bought my doll chateau Dolores uh, without any idea who he was going to be, um, and he has become Lear, uh, who has become quite an important character in my story, um, and uh, he's he's going to have some really key parts to play. Uh, so that wouldn't have happened probably if the doll hadn't have come. So I, I re I've really enjoyed that part of the hobby, uh, how I have I been able to get more inspiration and develop more characters because of dolls. So. Um, Do you have different inspirations for your different characters or stories? Uh, yeah, and I kind of went over that, how, uh, how it depends on what, sometimes what I might want to explore uh, with that character. Um, Hurla uh, was initially, um, one of her big things was I wanted to explore primitive medicine, uh, and that's where her character kind of initially sprung from. Um, so, uh, kind of, kind of a uh, different. And then for my stories, at this point, I really just have one, one main story. But uh, um, there might be some other stories eventually that that come out. And uh, uh, but right now, just just the main, the main world. So uh, different. There's all kinds of different inspirations. Then, and I just kind of, I kind of rambled about that already. <laughs> when when creating a character, how do you visualize them? through drawing, collages, or another way? Uh, well, before, before dolls, um, 
I drew. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I am an artist, um, and so my characters were, were, were drawn uh, and, and created that way. Um, and there might, again, various inspirations that might have come into that, maybe a certain theme, uh, color coordination, that sort of thing, but um, usually I worked out their designs by, by drawing them. Um, probably, I'm, uh, especially as I've moved more into dolls, um, I've explored other ways of building up concepts and ideas for their clothes and that sort of thing. Um, uh, some media sites like Tumblr and Pinterest, um, Flickr, uh, just kind of looking through those and, and, and um, uh, seeing inspirations. And some of that's for places too, how a place might look, uh, but also color patterns and fashions. Uh, so um, yeah, so that, but but initially, and still, I think my main way is, is drawing uh, and, and drawing those things myself. Uh, where do you go to define inspiration? YouTube, television, movies, Pinterest, Flickr. Again, for me, books. Uh, books and reading, uh, number one source of inspiration, and that's fiction and nonfiction. Um, and, and then other things might come in behind that. So movies, and usually older movies. <laughs> I'm not so much up on the, on the newer stuff, so it's probably, gonna, it's probably gonna be something that's 20 years or older. Uh, um, but uh, uh, that's, that's probably kind of how, how I work. Um, and what do you do when you can't find inspiration? Um, well, it, it is, in the case of dolls, uh, there's been my my uh, mini fee and my pookie fee. They they basically uh, they're I'm looking for home. So the mini fee has found a new home, and the pookie fee is because I just they just don't work with what I'm with the world that I have right now, and that's my interest. Um, so I'd rather uh, so I'm going to sell that doll. <laughs> uh, but uh, when I it took me it took me quite a while to find a, a character for for um, my Constantine and I just at that point it was kind of a lull just artistically and everything I wasn't doing a lot uh, but um, so sometimes sometimes you just need a break uh, from from creativity and there's just times where you are just more in a, in a, in a absorbing you're absorbing things so you're you just go back to some of those basic things that you do you you you're reading you're you're taking in um and that and i go through cycles like that so i'll go through cycles where i'm not really creating much or doing much uh but i'm in the intake mode so and for me that's usually reading lots of books uh, i'll just read and read and read um and and then i'll come back uh kind of ref refreshed and and uh, creativity is ready to flow again. So, well, I just blabbed on and on, so I'm gonna stop right there. Thank you so much, Edward and Sane, for making this tag, and uh, please, uh, we'd like to see more